fourth grade, module one, lesson 10, homework. Number one, round 845,001 to the nearest, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. I'm gonna start by rewriting 845,001. And then I'm gonna round it to the thousands place. So first I'm gonna find the thousands place and underline it. So there's a thousands place. And in order to round, I need to look to the right that place value next door, the hundreds place, and see if it's five or higher, or four or lower. Well, this is four or lower, it's a zero. So that means that the five is going to stay the same, and everything behind it is gonna turn into zeros. So this rounds to 845,000. Now if I round to the 10,000s place, I'm gonna rewrite 845,000 one, but this time I'm rounding to the ten thousands place. The four here is in the ten thousands place. Next to it is a five. That five is five or higher, which means we're gonna round up. Remember, five or higher, round up, four or lower stays the same. So this is five or higher means that this gonna four is gonna round up to a five. So this becomes a five and everything else becomes zeros, which is 850,000. And then the last one, we need to round to the hundred thousands place. 845,000, one, the hundred thousands place is this eight. Next to it is a four, that's four or lower. So this eight is gonna stay the same and everything else becomes zeros. This rounds to 800,000. Number two, complete each statement by rounding the number to the given place value. We have 743 rounded to the nearest hundred. So let's look at the seven, because that's the hundreds place. Next to it is an eight. That eight is five or higher. That means we round the seven up one to an eight and it becomes 800. Next one, 12,781 rounded to the nearest hundred. The hundreds place here is a seven. Next to it is an eight. That eight is five or higher, so we round the seven up to an eight. Now the 12 stays the same. Everything behind the hundreds place turns into a zero. So that becomes 12,800. Now we have 951,194 rounded to the nearest hundred. Let's find the hundreds place. That's this one right here. Next to it's a nine. That nine is five or higher. So the one is gonna round up to a two. Everything behind it becomes a zero. And everything in front of it stays the same. We get 951,200. D, 1,258 round that to the nearest thousand. The one is the thousands place, next to it is a two. So that two, is it five or higher, four or lower? Well, it is four or lower, which means that the one is gonna stay the same and everything behind the one becomes zero. If there was something in front of the one, it would stay the same, but there's nothing in front of it, so it just rounds to 1,000. 65,124 rounded to the nearest thousand. So the thousands place is this five right here. Next to it is a one. So the one is four or lower. That means that this five is gonna stay the same. Everything behind it turns to zeros and what's in front of it stays the same. So 65,000. 99,451 rounded to the nearest thousand. The thousands place is this nine Next to it is a four, that's four or lower, so that means the nine stays the same. Everything turns to zeros except for what was in front stays the same. So that becomes 99,000. 60,488 rounded to the nearest 10,000. Let's find the 10 thousands place, that would be this six. Next to it is a zero, that zero is four or lower, so the six stays the same and everything else becomes zeros. 60,000. 80,801 rounded to the nearest 10,000. So this 
80,000, eight is in the 10 thousands place. Next to it is zero. That zero is four or lower, so the eight stays the same. Everything else becomes zeros. So it's rounded to 80,000. 897,100 rounded to the nearest 10,000. So this, we're rounding to the 10,000's place. The nine is in the 10,000's place. Next to it is a seven. So that means that this nine is going to be rounded up to a 10. But what happens when we round that up to a 10, this becomes a zero and we have to add a one to the next place value. So you can kind of see the 10 there, one zero but then we have to add the one to the eight, so it becomes a nine and a zero, and then everything else becomes zeros. So we get 900,000. J, 880,005 rounded to the nearest 100,000. This eight, very first eight is the 100,000th place. Next to it is another eight. That eight is five or higher. So this first eight rounds up to a nine and everything else becomes zeros. 545,999 rounded to the nearest hundred thousand. The hundred thousands place is the five. Next to it is a four, that's four or lower. So this five stays the same. Everything else turns into zeros. So that rounded to the nearest hundred thousand is 500,000. And L, 689,114, rounded to the nearest 100,000. The six is in the 100,000's place. Next to it's an eight. So that eight is five or higher, meaning that the six rounds up to seven. Everything else becomes zeros, and it's rounded to 700,000. Number three, solve the following problems using pictures, numbers, or words. In the 2011 New York City Marathon, 29,867 men finished the race, and 16,928 women finished the race. Each finisher was given a t-shirt. About how many men's shirts were given away? About how many women's shirts were given away? Explain how you found your answers. So let's start with uh, the men. So the men, there were 29,867 men who finished. And it wants us to round and see about how many shirts were given away. So there's multiple ways to round. I'm going to round to the 10,000s place. So the 10,000s place is right there. Next to it is a nine. That's five or higher, meaning that the two is gonna round to a three and everything else becomes zeros. So there were about 30,000 men's shirts. And then the women, there were 16,928. And this, I'm gonna round to uh, this one's a little bit closer, so I'm going to round to the thousands place here. Now you could round to the ten thousands place again because it doesn't tell us what we should round to. It's just telling you to round. So there's not one right answer here. But I'm rounding to the thousands place. And when I round to the thousands place, next to the six is a nine. That nine is five or higher, which means that this six is going to turn into a seven. Everything else will be the same. So if we add 30,000 plus 17,000, I will get 47,000 shirts as my estimate. So, and it wants us to explain how we found that answer. So I'm gonna say I rounded the men to the 10 thousands place and got 30,000 shirts and rounded the women to 
to the thousands place and got 17,000 shirts. When I add them together, I got 47,000 shirts. Num or letter B. In the 2010 New York City Marathon, 42,429 people finished the race and received a medal. Before the race, the medals had to be ordered. If you were the person in charge of ordering the medals and estimated how many to order by rounding, would you have ordered enough medals? Explain your thinking. So what this is trying to do is try to get us to think about what rounding means and if it's the best thing to do in all scenarios. So if you have 42,429, if I rounded that to, let's say, the thousands place, this would round to 42,000. If I rounded it to the ten thousands place, This two is four or lower, so this would round to 40,000. In both cases where I've rounded, I wouldn't have enough shirts or enough medals for people. So I would say if I rounded to the thousands or ten thousands place, In both scenarios, I would have rounded down and there would not have been enough metals. And then letter C. In 2010, 28,357 of the finishers were men and 14,072 of the finishers were women. About how many more men finished the race than women? To determine your answer, did you round to the nearest 10,000 or 1,000? Explain. So let's see. We have men, 28,357. Let's decide if we want to round that to the nearest thousands or the nearest ten thousands. I'm going to round it to the nearest thousands place. The only reason I'm going to round it to the nearest thousands place is because that'll give us a more uh, closer answer to or a closer estimate in the long run than rounding to the ten thousands place. So the ten thousand the thousands place is the eight. Next to it is a three. So this rounds to twenty eight. Thousand. We'll round down. The women fourteen thousand seventy-two. I'll round that to the thousands place as well. So that's the four next to it's a zero. That means that this fourteen thousand will stay the same. So we want to know about how many more men finished the race than women. So to figure out how many more, that means we need to subtract. We're going to do 28,000 minus 14,000. We would say 14,000 more men finished than women. You could have a different estimate. So if we'd rounded to the nearest 10,000, for example, 28,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000, we would have gotten 30,000. And 14,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000, we would have gotten 10,000. 10, yeah. So we would have said that 20,000 more men finished than women. So rounding to the nearest thousands place here 
just gives us a more accurate estimate rather than the 10,000s place.